Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. This tutorial will look at the ComputerGarGar Gantt chart template. Now, anyone who's been involved in the management of a project or the checking of the, the kind of progress of a project will be very familiar with Gantt charts. They're a view that shows the schedule of a project and its progress throughout that project's life cycle. Creating one in Excel is a very popular task. Someone has been asked many questions about in the past, about the best way of doing this, uh, and there are multiple ways of doing it. Uh, this Gantt chart template uses fixed dates uh, for the schedule, which is one way of approaching it. For this Gantt chart to work, all we need to do is enter the project start date, which gets put in cell E1 here, and to put in the start date and the estimated duration of each project task. From that the finish date will calculate itself. Percentage complete can be input at any time throughout this project as well and as that is input the progress will be displayed within each task bar in this black so we can see the 100% progress, 50% progress there not taking the non-working days that are visible in this, this greyed out colour as well, the weekends and the holidays. As that is updated we also have a thermometer chart up top showing the progress of the project as a whole picking up the information to the left here 8% through 57 days due to start on the 18th of March finish the 14th of May. So there's quite a lot of information here just trying to showcase what we have. Um, next thing logical to mention I guess is this Gantt chart where we have the non-working days greyed out we also have today's date represented by a red dashed line. And we have another tab, another sheet tab at the bottom, a holidays tab, uh, with the holidays for the you know, next couple of years. And that is also where these non-working days are picking up the information to know that we're on a uh, 1st of April is a non-working day and the 29th of March was a non-working day uh, and that kind of stuff. Uh, we've got various functions you can check out on here. To calculate the finish date, we have a work day function. Calculating today's date, we have the use of the today function. A few kind of mini formulas uh, potted around doing the, the various bits they want. Most of the Gantt chart has been created through the use of conditional formatting rules. Just looking at if I go into manage rules now, we should have five different conditional formatting rules which are being used to display the length of a task, the progress of a task today's date, the non-working days, uh, the various things that we can see going on in that Gantt chart area. We've got some functions calculating these uh, these time scales along the top, so really a lot going on. Uh, please feel free to download this Gantt chart, check it out, um, you know, use it in a real-time situation if we can. All it requires, uh, just to repeat, is the project start date and then the start date for each task and the estimated duration. It can be used, you know, these durations and that can change in the future. You can update the project's you know, completion as it goes through and it tracks the progress of your project. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out some of our other tips and trips at computergargar.com. Oh, to forget, you can download this Gantt chart through the link in the description of this video. Okay, bye for now.